As a student or parent viewing a Canvas account, if a teacher has embedded a Google Doc, you may see something like this on your page. It tells you that you need to log in in order to authorize the integration between your Google account and Canvas. You might see it on embedded pages. You may also see this in assignments when you go to submit an assignment as a student. If you click on Google Drive, it will tell you you need to authorize this. All right, so how to authorize? You're gonna click Authorize down at the bottom, and it's gonna pop up with your login to your Sequoia Union High School District um, sign-on. So I'm gonna type in my username as a student. It would be your student ID number. And your password. And what should happen is it will then show you your account. You'd click on that and you would allow access. Now, it says it failed. Sometimes I have to do this twice to make it work. So I try a second time, and it failed again. Normally after the second try, it works. If it doesn't work here, it is because right now I'm in my personal Gmail account in my browser. And when I try to log in with my SEQ account, it confuses Canvas. So what you need to do in order to make this work, you need to set up different users within your Chrome account. So when I have this pink view, it's showing me as, a, as my personal Gmail. And so what a lot of people do is when they wanna switch and go from your different email accounts, for example, here's my personal email, people will normally click on their face up at the top right hand side, and then they will sign out here, and then they'll sign back in with their school account. And this is what confuses Canvas and Google, because I now have two accounts within this kind of browser window. So what you need to do is go to the settings on your Google Chrome. So I'm gonna click on the um, Google Chrome button, it's the right button on my browser bar, and I'm going to choose settings. When I go into my settings, the first box up at the top is people. I want to manage other people. So I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to add a person down at the bottom right. And I might call this my school email. You can choose an icon and then I'm going to say save. Then it's going to prompt me to sign in to my school account. It's going to create a new user, and I'm going to have two separate browsers that are just for Chrome. Notice that this browser here has a gray bar up at the top. The other one that I was in a minute ago has a pink one. So I have two separate windows for Chrome set up now. The pink one is just for my personal account, and this gray one is just for my SEQ account. So now to switch between my Google accounts, instead of signing in or signing out within your Google Drive or your Google Gmail, Okay, instead of clicking sign out here and signing out with the other one, I'm gonna go up to the top right hand part of my screen. And this is where right now I'm in my SEQ account. I can click on this and I actually have multiple accounts that I've set up. I can also go to my personal account or to other accounts that I might have. So this is how you wanna switch between accounts. Once you've separated out your school account and it's its own brand new window, when you go into Chrome, or sorry, when you go into Canvas, you should be able to connect your Google account and it should work perfectly for you. You always wanna make sure that when going back and forth between accounts, that you just switch them up at the top of your screen. If you're still having problems with your Google Drive not authorizing, what you need to do is contact Canvas support. To do so, you're going to go to the left side of your screen to the help question mark, 
And when you click on that, you can do the Canvas Support Hotline, which is a 24-hour phone number that you can contact to get help, or you can do chat with Canvas Support. Either of those will get you in contact with a Canvas Support technician, and they can help you troubleshoot and get your Google Drive connected.